Well, everybody was wondering, would Black Panther Wakanda Forever fare as well without star Chadwick Boseman? And boy, did this weekend give us an indication of how well the movie really was going to do. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about the box office opening, how it compares with other films this year, and if we think it'll cross the magical billion dollar mark. Let's break it down. Well, I don't think anybody is really surprised how well Black Panther is doing at the theaters. The film opened up with a $330 million opening weekend, taking in $180 million in North America and $150 overseas, with some Sunday tallies still being added up. Now, this falls slightly short of the $365 million opening estimate, but the film has already done super well and is off to a spectacular start. It actually gives it the second highest opening this year, right behind another Marvel film, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. It also bumped 2013 Hunger Games Catching Fire from the biggest November debut ever. And its $150 million international haul means it's the fifth highest opening international movie of the pandemic era. All these things add up to quite a success for Marvel Studios and Ryan Coogler, and I think they really have something to be pretty darn proud of. Now, whether the film will reach the billion dollar mark, I suppose that is the big question. Quite honestly, I think this film, at least after its opening weekend, has significantly better word of mouth than Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. And if you remember back, that first Black Panther movie had legs. It did super well for multiple weeks and had a really small drop off. And quite honestly, I am expecting very, very similar results. Now, I don't expect it to catch Top Gun Maverick, which is clearly going to be the top movie of the year, but I do think it could be more. Marvel's number one showing, and the fact that Marvel has the number one and number two opening weekends, at least right now, really does show you the power of the Marvel Universe in this post-pandemic era. Additionally, the movie doing $180 million domestically has already eclipsed other superhero movies for this year. For example, Black Adam has done $151 million in four weeks. That gives you an idea of how well this movie is doing in comparison, and I honestly expect this to steamroll for several weeks, probably until the Avatar sequel drops. The movie's done pretty darn well in reviews, and it's sitting and is currently sitting in the mid-80s on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't think it's hit critics quite as hard as the first movie did, but I do think the movie is resonating with fans, and for the most part, the responses I have seen have been mostly positive. I have seen some critical response in association with some of the characters, and even some stuff with Namor, but after seeing the movie, I have to say I've really enjoyed it, and I do think this film is going to cruise along and be Marvel's number one film of the year. Now, what's next for Ryan Coogler? We're going to have to wait and see. I think many fans are expecting him to take up the chair for Secret Wars. Given how much energy this movie absolutely sapped out of the guy, he's exhausted not only mentally and physically, but it was clearly an emotional task. I think we're going to have to wait and see if he takes up that role. I think Coogler would be a good pick, but his heart has to be in it 100%. Obviously, we're going to follow Black Panther Wakanda forever over the next couple of weeks and do a box office total video when it exits theaters. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you get all of your Wakandan updates. But until we know more, what do you guys think? Are you really surprised how well Wakanda forever opened at the box office? And do you believe this film will break the billion dollar mark? Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.